We've got to work out what we stand for as a football team, quickly. And if not, I'll sort it out. Can't have margins like that at half time. And then for various reasons, finish up losing the game. It happens too much at this football. Mark Harvey in his post-match press conference, uh, and he's been good enough to stay over and join us. Can on the couch. came up before. I saw one of your press con I've seen most of your press conferences. Yeah, yeah. A couple recently. Mm. I mean, petulant is a word that some people have used uh, about your performance. One of them involved Tarrant when you wouldn't tell us what was wrong. You said he had an injury and someone asked you. Well, we can see that, I think. But have you been happy with the way you've performed when at a very testing time in front of the media? Well, I'm sure you're going to show some highlights of that, eh? Um, well, we've got a couple of examples, yeah. yeah okay. Well, look, that's, that'll be selective. It'd be fair to say that Chris has got an injury. What is that injury? Uh, we, we don't need to discuss that because, it, because we don't. I think there's a history of that with key forwards over here. Those that aren't performing? I don't think it matters if they perform or not. The, the minute they have a bad game and everyone wants, wants to write them off or challenge the club about select. But a lot of things happened to Josh last week. Well, so unfairly so? Yep. What were they? I won't get into it. Do you think were, were the injuries sustained by unfair treatment? You'd be the judge of that. Now, I know, look, they're difficult to sign Yeah, it's, yeah. They are. But, I mean, do you think when you raised the Terrence got a problem and then you, you raised the Josh Carr issue and then people legitimately, in my view, Ask you what is it? Let's let's alert the world to what's happening on that front. Chris Taran had a personal problem on top of his injury. Now his injury was to his neck, and so he was having a lot of problems with that. And I didn't want to discuss that in the public domain. I'm trying to get a grip on some of the fade outs I've seen. I think you get too many goals kicked against you as a club in succession. Yeah. And I just wonder whether or not the area is a fitness mm. issue because I look at the last quarters and here's the uh, points cumulatively for the top sides: Hawthorne, Western Bulldogs, Geelong. They all finish off really strongly. As you said, you've got Fremantle into winning positions yeah, right. on three or four extra occasions this season, and yet your last quarters, your 16th, you're down 110 points. Is fitness an issue? Nearly every game we've played, we've lost one or two players early in the game, which, which can hurt your rotations and puts extra pressure on the playing group. Yep. Uh, you play younger players, and sometimes that can have an effect on your outcome. But that's an area we need to address, you're right.